We must investigate, in the light of the results we have arrived at, what solid or liquid bodies are hot and what cold. Bodies consisting of water are commonly cold, unless, like lye, urine, wine, they contain foreign heat. Bodies consisting of earth, on the other hand, are commonly hot because heat was active in forming them, for instance, lime and ashes. We must recognize that cold is, in a sense, the matter of bodies. For the dry and the moist are matter, being passive, and earth and water are the elements that primarily embody them, and they are characterized by cold. Consequently, cold must predominate in every body that consists of one or other of the elements simply, unless such a body contains foreign heat as water does when it boils or when it has been strained through ashes. This latter, too, has acquired heat from the ashes, for everything that has been burnt contains more or less heat. This explains the generation of animals and putrefying bodies. The putrefying body contains the heat which destroyed its proper heat. Bodies made up of earth and water are hot, for most of them derive their existence from concoction and heat, though some, like the waste products of the body, are products of putrefaction. Thus blood, semen, marrow, fig juice, and all things of the kinds are hot as long as they are in their natural state, but when they perish and fall away from that state they are so no longer. For what is left of them is their matter, and that is earth and water. Hence, both views are held about them, some people maintaining them to be cold and others to be warm. For they are observed to be hot when they are in their natural state, but to solidify when they have fallen away from it. That, then, is the case of mixed bodies. However, the distinction we laid down holds good. If its matter is predominantly water, a body is cold, water being the complete opposite of fire. But if earth or air, it tends to be warm. It sometimes happens that the coldest bodies can be raised to the highest temperature by foreign heat. For the most solid and the hardest bodies are coldest when deprived of heat and most burning after exposure to fire. Thus water is more burning than smoke and stone than water.